Trade will only happen once people know what other people have to trade. Because in the history of trade, there used to be a place called market. That was a place where every trader would go on a particular date or on a particular time and show what he has to offer, and they started trading. So the Intra-African Trade Fair, which is going to be the first uh, such large event happening in Egypt uh, in December of this year, would be a forum, would be a platform where all African businessmen, all African traders will come and find out what Egypt has to offer, find out what South Africa has to offer, and find out what kind of trade they can do together. It's one way of developing or improving or enhancing the volume of intra-African trade. Because it's very clear that there are certain goods that you can get probably cheaper from South Africa that you are getting from China or from Europe. Yeah. Talk to me about uh, the different components of uh, the Africa free trade area because when I was listening, I heard, for instance, about the trade portal. I also heard about uh, the provision of a database that is going to help our businesses. First of all, you have to gather information. It is important that uh, those who want to trade among themselves know what is available. Because if you don't know what is available, if you don't have information about what others have to offer, you will not be able to, to, to decide this opportunity. Yeah. So that will be one of the aspects. Of course, it will be also a, a forum where African traders are going to discuss about all the difficulties they may have uh, they may encounter when they want to trade among themselves. Some issues are issues of payment, uh, largely because uh, South Africa has a rent, uh, Botswana has a PULA, uh, West Africa they have CFA and so on. How do you make sure that you can trade among yourselves and have a payment mechanism that are uh, suitable? for you because one of the biggest risks in trade yeah. is the payment that's true. Okay. and that will be also an opportunity to discuss how to improve the payment system and Afrexim Bank is promoting a, a, a platform where traders will be able also to trade among themselves. Yeah. Who are you inviting? All African traders, actually, uh, Is there specific size that you're looking at? First of all, you know, we are working through the Pan-African Chamber of Commerce and, right. uh, the, and industry. Because they are, this is an organization, so they have members, and those members are businessmen, they are traders. So that's, we are working with them. We are working also with certain organizations, like the African Union, which has a database, and which is going also to uh, support uh, the event. We are uh, working with the Economic Commission of Africa, who is doing also a lot of work in developing information on trade and on trade possibility in our continent. Mm -hmm. Who are your tar what are your targets for, for, for this event? It has been advertised. First, if we can, we expect that there will be at least 70,000 uh, people who come through in and out at that particular event. Uh, second thing, we want to ensure that there will be a certain volume of deal or commitment right. that are going to be made among uh, African. You know, currently, uh, intra-African trade st stands at around one, 1 trillion or 1.3 trillion and so on. Yeah. We think if we look later on, in a year or two, and it is 1.5, it means that the Inter-African Trade Fair would have also served yeah. that uh, objective. Beyond the trade fair, how are you going to sustain the momentum that you build with these trade fairs? Very important question. It's a very important question. Uh, it's, it's important to have follow-ups. It's important also to track after that trade fair 
what has happened. And the role of Afri Africa Sim Bank is exactly that, to ensure that you continuously promote into African trade. And there's going to be a few other events, of course, after that, because the Intra-African Trade Fair is a biannual, every two years is going to happen. But as soon as we finish the first trade fair, which we hope will be a success, we'll start preparing the next trade fair so that, you know, we have sufficient time to build on the experience that we have.